Hi, my name is Raymond Chan, and I'm a product manager here at Ritsu, and today I'm going to talk to you about secure mode, uh, specifically setting up your secure mode for your RSM. Um, what is secure mode, you may ask? Secure mode is a way to create a registry, essentially, of IP address, um, which are the only IP address that can access your RSM once they have been registered in, into, that, into this database in the RSM. Um, it's a secure way to limit access, who can have access to the trace data and who can control the RSM. In, what it, in other words, if it's not on, on the registered IP list in the unit, the person will not have access to the RSM. And this is extremely useful um, when, when you want to control the limit of access, who can access the unit. This uh, secure mode works with uh, all of our products of RSMs. As you can see here, it works with our MS27102, MS27101, and our MS27103 uh, family of RSMs. Uh, this product is free. All you have to do is go to our RSM product page and go to the downloads and select the correct software. As you can see here, it's called secure mode for our spectrum monitor. Um, once you have downloaded it, all you have to do is unzip the folder and run the executable, and w I will show you what the what it looks like next. In order to use the executable, there's only a few things you need to know. Uh, the first thing you need to know is your IP address. Um, your IP address is going to be important because it t tells the software where the RSM is located. Uh, the next thing you need to know is the MAC address. Your MAC address is important because it essentially is your default password when you first um, enter, the, uh, enter the unit. The only difference is instead of a colon in between these numbers, you have the letters S, Y, S, T, E, and M. So in my case, this is my MAC address. This would be my default password. As you can see here, I've already entered my IP address and I've entered my default MAC address password and what happens is when you first log on it tells you if secure mode is on or off and by default it's always going to be off. Uh, once you log in as you can see here there are seven options for you once you have uh, entered this tool. The first option you can turn on secure mode and register this PC that you are on to be uh, one of the computers that can access the RSM. You can also do number two, which is to turn off the secure mode and allow any other computer to have access to the RSM. You can also, if you're not sure, you can also enter number three to query the current state of the RSM. So number three is essentially going to give you uh, the same printout. It's going to tell you if secure mode is on or off. Um, like I said before, your default password is your MAC address. So number four lets you add a level of security and change your uh, password to be uh, something other than the default MAC address. Uh, number five, number five allows you to reset, um, essentially turn secure mode off and reset the password to your default uh, password. This could be useful for transporting or giving it for someone else to uh, set up. Number six allows you to re-enter the password if for some reason you made a mistake. And number seven is to exit this. Um, next, we're going to show you a demonstration of how this works and how to turn on and off. As you can see here, I'm connected to my RSM, the MS27103A, and as you can see here, my IP address is 172.26.202.205, and I can refresh this, and I still have access to it. Uh, next, I'm going to demonstrate uh, another computer that I have remote access to right now and it's also connected to the same RSM. I'm gonna actually refresh this to show that I still have this computer still has access to it. Alright, next I'm gonna actually turn this on right here as you saw on the PowerPoint. I've already entered the IP address and entered the password and it's shown me here that secure mode is off. And now I'm gonna turn on secure mode by entering number one and hit enter. And now secure mode has been enabled, as you can see, it's on. As you see here, this is the computer that I have access to. And I still have access to it because the IP address has been registered. However, if you look at the remote, the computer that, I ha that I'm remote controlling with, it's disconnected. It, let me refresh and see what happens. Ah, as you can see, secure mode has been enabled on the MS27103A because this computer that I, I'm remoting into does not is not uh, the IP address is not registered to this RSM right here. So from here, what I can do is also let's do number two and turn it off. As you can see here, the status is off now, and then I'm gonna do number three, 
and I'm going to double check the status and it is off. So let me pull back to the remote, the unit that I have remote control on and refresh it. And now I have access again to the unit. I'll give it a minute, I got disconnected for a second, but as you can see here I have I have full access uh, back to the unit again. And let's go back to the other unit here. Ah uh, yes, I see, I'm going to refresh it again. And I still have complete access to it. So by using this little uh, tool here, you can enter secure mode and secure mode and turn it on and off and you can reset it and you can s have a secure your RSM depending on the IP address and which computer is registered for it. I hope you find this uh, tutorial helpful. Thank you.